Hello and welcome back to Terraria. Previous episode, we got this beautiful new armor and we got these beautiful new minions. So now we have five spiders that are following us. And what I also did in between episodes is I made some uh, new buildings for the NPCs. Is that something that I had to do still? Uh, this is the merchant's house. No, this is the golfer's house. So <laughs> I teamed it like a bar, so like a sports bar. And I also put like a little bit of green and a tea here, so he can tee off. And I also put some little flags. So that's the uh, golfer's house. This is the merchant's house. It has a lot of gold, it has a lot of chests, and it has uh, a safe. Also on top of it, I put some crates, I put some uh, barrels. So place where he can store his goods. And this will be the tax collector's house. So we don't have that NPC yet. But we're going to get it. Uh, and here we can put the tax collector. I also built some houses here. So this is going to be the guide's house. It's like a little kitchen. And I also put some plants around so he likes farming. And the other NPC that I want to put here is the princess. So uh, the wizard is a temporary resident. But we're going to change him with the princess and I also finished this underground house so uh, I put some uh, I made like a mining team house for the demolitionist right I put some mining clothes some uh, workshop items I put like a giant amethyst there and uh, for the what's this I think she's called a mechanic I put some. I put the painting of her and the goblin. I put some bookshelves. Made it, uh, you know, a girly a little bit because she looks like a girly girl. So yeah, th that's what I did uh, in between episodes, and I think uh, all these places look pretty good. So we still have like a few NPCs that are living in these temporary housings, and we need to get rid of them. And I will do that like. Uh, in between other episodes. I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, I need to build like different houses and different biomes. And I will do that. But uh, it doesn't, there's no rush to it. The first thing I want to do this episode, just like every episode, is we're going to start with a fishing quest. So we go to the hallow, get a unicorn fish. Oh yeah, and by the way, I also got a new fishing rod. You can buy this one from the traveling merchant. And I think this is one of the best fishing rods you can get. Okay. So I got the unicorn fish. Uh, and what's also happening is this, this biome, oh sh this biome, it's really, uh, it's creeping towards my base. I don't want that. So we should be uh, careful. So it stretched all the way to here. Hmm. So it's really close to my base right now. So yeah, it's spreading fast. This biome. Not really a fan of it, but you know, uh, I don't really care either. <laughs> so yeah, I put I put like a little bit of a trench down here. So hopefully it won't uh, affect my base. I can I can expand it. I'm gonna expand this real quick. Or let's first turn in the fishing quest and then we can expand this. Let's see what we get. We got some fishing potions. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, and one other thing that I found in between episodes is this new pet. So, uh, if we go... Oh. So if we do this, there's like this little scroll ask thing. It's called a sugar glider. And I, I like this pet. This is the first pet that I like, so I'm gonna keep him around. So, okay. The next thing that I want to do is I want to uh, wait for it to rain. And once it starts raining, I can go to the snow biome. And a special kind of enemy will start spawning there. So the snow biome is here. 
new a special kind of enemy will start spawning there and that enemy is going to drop a material and with the material we can craft a new whip so that's what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna wait for it to rain so it's finally raining which means we can go to the snow biome real quick and there will be a blizzard and a new kind of enemy that we can kill that enemy is gonna give us an item with which we can build a weapon a new whip there we go let's see if we can find them so there's a blizzard here right now I've been waiting so long for it to for it to rain finally it's happening come on come on spawn please please spawn oh there we go so this is the guy this is the guy, the ice golem. He's on the water so we can see him. This is the guy. Oh, and there we go. And we got the frost core. So that's the thing that we needed from this enemy to craft that new weapon. Let's see if we can find one more. Oh, there we go. There's one more. So you see the lasers shooting at me. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Ooh, <laughs> I'm stuck. So there he is. But I'm uh, I'm dying. There we go. The ice golem. You can only see his name. Got one more frost score. So let's let's just. Kill him a few more times until this uh, rain goes away. There we go, there's one more here. Ice golems of the snow biome. We have to kill. Get these frost cores. Yes, there we go. As you might have seen, I also got the ice feather. Uh, and that's the thing that I wanted. So this is the loot that I got, right? I got an ice feather. I got three frost cores. I also got some cobalt ore. Uh, I got a whole bunch of crates. I also got this frozen key, which is really important. And I got all of this while I was waiting for rain in the snow biome. So my minions just killed mobs while I was waiting there. And, uh, you know, once it started raining, we could gather these four frost cores. So let's first open these crates up, right? Let's get some stuff, maybe. We got an enchanted sword. Tartar sauce. Tartar sauce summons a mini minotaur. Okay, cool. Let's just keep opening this. Uh, armored tsunami in a bottle. Okay, yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, some cool stuff. We also got some two defiled crates. Uh, also, like, not too bad. Okay, now that we have a frost core, what we need is we need these things. We need soul of night and souls of light. And I need 8 of both. I got 13 of the Souls of Night, so that's good. And then I need like 7 more of the Soul of Light. And I can go here, kill some mobs, and you will get Souls of Light from those mobs. So here we are in underground, you know, hello. So here we can get some souls of light. And I also can dig up some ores with my items. 
aren't good enough for those. So if you just kill hollow mobs, you can get those souls of light. So we should get those pretty fast. They're not difficult to farm. Oh, and look at what I found, a gelatin crystal. So we can also spawn a boss with that item. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so while I was uh, collecting these things, I also found a spider cave and we found a new uh, NPC as well. So, okay, I got enough, so let's go back. There we go. Okay, what we can do now, if I'm correct, we can also build keys. I don't know what those are for. Hmm, can we? No, we cannot. <laughs> so, okay, I apparently need like a different anvil if I want to build the item that I want. So, you know, let's do that quickly as well. So, I need a better anvil and to get a better anvil, I need to mine some hard mode ores. You know, I got some Spelunk potions. So, I think it should be doable. So let's go mine some ores. Okay, so I got some cobalt ores, which means we can make some cobalt bars. And with these, we can make a new pickaxe. And with this new pickaxe, we can, again, Mine some new ores. Okay, so I got some mithril ore. Let's see. So if we smelt all of that, what we can do is we can get a better end. And if we replace this anvil with this anvil, what we can do is we can build the cool whip. So this is my new weapon that I got. Let's test it out. There you go. It spawns like these snowflakes and those attack enemies. There you go. So it's pretty, pretty powerful, you know? Happy that I got it. Uh, what I want to do is I want to get a few more ores. So I can also build like a mithril pickaxe. There we go. We can now also get like a mithril pickaxe, if I'm correct. Let's see. There we go. And we can build... Yes, a mithril pickaxe. And now we can also dig titanium. So just before the Spelunk potion runs out, let's also dig some titanium. Uh, I don't know what titanium looks like, so... The silver...
Okay, I just got also a bo bunch of titanium. So what we can do is we can increase or we can uh, craft a new forge, titanium forge. And with that forge, we can melt some titanium bars. And now what we can do is we can get a titanium pickaxe. So we now also have the best pickaxe that we can get. Uh, pretty cool. What we also could do is it is a terrible modifier. So we go to this guy, go to the shop, uh, reforge, and we can get a sharp one. Cool. So that's it. I got the item that I wanted, the whip, the cool whip. I also got a new pickaxe and we also got a bunch of stuff so we can use that stuff uh, next episode to fight bosses this thing and we can also make some wings even so that's what we're going to do next episode thank you guys for watching please leave a like also leave a comment comments really help with the algorithm and you would be helping me out and also please leave a like thanks again for watching and bye bye